Hey guys, it's GLT here, and I'm back with another review. I have something different, because I went out and got a LEGO Juniors Ninjago set. Um, it's set number 10722, age recommended 4-7. I'm not 4-7, I'm putting it out there now. Um, I thought I'd get this, just because it's Ninjago, and I just thought it'd be something cool to get, just to see how it is. So, for uh, people who haven't bought junior sets like myself, um, they're easy to build. Uh, there's roughly about two or three bags. Um, they're numbered, obviously, like all the other ones. Uh, simple instructions and easy to build. And I just thought I'd get this just because it kind of looks cool. So, I just thought I'd get it just to show it off and just see how it goes along. So first we start with the minifig. So first it comes with this Kai, which they've improvised. So they have the season three get up, but just with um, the normal coming off mask. Not the mask from season three, because I reckon it'd be too small. But it's all right, it's good. Good to include. This five bit was an extra bit, but I thought I'd give it to Kai just as a fiery element. And then it also comes with a snake, and this is a new print, I believe, for the Snakes the Serpentine. Um, the only snake we get in Season 6 is Clancy, so this kind of looks like a Season 6 sort of pirate snake. I don't know. He kind of looks really cool though. So, um, he doesn't have a name, because it doesn't say it on the box, but... I think I might call him, I don't know, I might call him Slithereye. Is that already a naked snake? I don't know. I mean, he looks kind of cool with his eye patch and everything. So I thought, yeah, why not? So first we're going to start off with Kai's little car here. And um, with these, they don't have stickers, so all these bits that are... Uh, detailed. These are exclusively printed. I um, for these junior sets, so then the four to seven year olds don't have trouble with stickers. Yeah. So Kai easily sits in there, and it's a nice car. It rolls very smoothly, which is lovely, especially for a small child. Well, for a four to seven year old, but I like the front print. I just like it. It could be used for something else. Like, if you're making custom stuff, you could use the... You could take that off and use it for something else. Then it comes with a snake bike. I love the printing on the front. That is just so cool. And I don't think I've ever seen a serpentine bike like this. So I'm glad to have this. Then it has a fire booster pack at the back. That's where the fire sort of came from. And um, out of all this set, it only comes with one spare piece. All the others don't come with spares. <laughs> yeah, kind of understandable. But it's really cool. I'm glad that the bad guy snake, Slither-Eye, or as I like to call him, has a weapon, a bike. Rolls really well. Rolls really well. And it does stand. But... When it does that, it, it can't stand. But I like it. it. It's really cool. And then we move on to this part, which is actually the ramp. This bit down here, this is printed as well. So it's kind of like um, lava kind of coming up from the cracks in the road. And um, these rocking bits, these aren't actually attached. So if Kai was to come along and go... The fire would just go under him and go like, sort of tip over, but also kind of rock at the same time, which is really kind of cool. Like I like how they've made that, kind of just something to move around. And then on this part, it comes with a serpentine staff, which I have never got a serpentine staff, so it's good to have it. Is it supposed to have that bit at the back? I don't know. But I really like this, I really do. And, um, like the gin blade, you can put stuff on, um, where the gem is. 
So if you take that out, you could put a small little stud in there, which I think they did exclusive prints in Season 1 for the Serpentine Tribes, except Pythor, which is really cool. If I can get, like, five more of those, I don't know, that would be kind of cool. So, yeah, just a small little set, which I thought would be cool to review. Um... I know it's babyish, and I know I'm not one for interested in these things, but I thought I'd get it because it's just a cool, unique thing that you could use and reuse with some of these printed bits. I just like it, and I just thought I'd get it. And there is another LEGO Junior Ninjago set, which I think I might get if I have the time. I'm only getting this is because I have the time, and... Yeah, so uh, like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I shall see you guys next time. Bye!